The last time Mick led us into his garage, he was winning comps and chasing down world titles. Things have obviously changed for the man since he's retired and he's graciously led us into his garage again. We know he's home, let's go check it out. M-Dog. Hello mate. How are you? Good yourself. Yeah, good. Good to see you. Good. Good Thanks for having us in the garage again. No worries. Last time we were here, the blades were pretty refined. It was all about winning comps and chasing more titles. Obviously the mindset's a little different now, a bit yeah. more relaxed. Yeah, it's all about winning free surfs. No, I'm joking. Uh, no, it's all about just having fun. It's all about enjoying surfing to its fullest. And um, at the moment, I'm enjoying it so much. How long did it take you to switch from, I want to get off the 5.11s, and uh, I want to get on some fun stuff, I want to start riding 20s, starting to mess around with different designs? Um, I've always sort of wanted to do that. Um, it's just when, you, when you're traveling all the time that you've got limited board space. So now it's um, now I get to do a lot more, which has been really fun, and um, sort of like on the search trips and stuff that I'm doing these days, I'm, I'm always trying to take at least one fun board. You know, obviously high performance is still where I, I want to be in those really good ways, but um, yeah, there's times where you sort of just want to mix it up, and uh, yeah, there's days when you just don't actually feel like surfing. If you've got a board that gets you out there, it makes it so much better. If you had to pick three boards to ride, say, for the next year, oh. which ones would they be? Let's find some, because there's, right. there's plenty in there's the racks here. here, there's plenty to choose um, from. This is sort of, this is my standard board at the moment. This is yep. something that well, you've probably seen over the years. Just a standard board that I would have rode onto it. Okay, um, so that's your go-to shorty. That's a go-to shorty, if it's okay. three foot and fun. So there's that one. Okay, so are you just riding your Stock standard, stock standard MF large, isn't that? Large, yeah. Well, your fin sits in the Carver family, so it does have quite a lot of sweep on it. This fin has lasted since it first came out. It's um, been the fin that just works in every condition, works um, in every type of wave. And I mean, it's still one of the most popular templates on tour, even when you were riding most it. Most popular, mate. It's what the most mean? popular. <laughs> um, it's just consistent yeah it's, it's reliable it's something and I think that's probably why people like it on tour because it is reliable uh, you know this flex can hold just that little bit too long and you're driving too much where the neon carbon sort of just it's got a really good twang to it and so you, you can load up really hard and push really hard and it'll, it'll accelerate you through through your turns it will hold but then when you want it to it just flick almost like a fish fin or a shark fin or something just give it that extra little whip just to take off are these more of a small to medium size yeah surf? this would be anywhere up to up to three four okay yeah i sort of don't like them if i've got a hole a longer turn especially on a point break or something like that yep. but in saying that I've had really fun surfs out snapper when it's been this big. Right, okay. So because Nice you, pockety little yeah, section. Yeah, little twangs here and there. The board that I've been riding all summer um, is this thing. <laughs> it's not a model yet, um, and I'll probably get in trouble for showing you this, but everyone, you've got to tell the age to make it a model. <laughs> well, there you go, exclusives. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a little five, six. A um, lot of area, a lot of foam. Yeah, uh, heaps more thickness up here. Yeah. A lot more air up front, obviously. And, yeah. Uh, and it's... It's screaming small wave to me. Yeah, so I've ridden this all the way up to four foot, and yep. it still goes so fine. It can carve and do that. When we first made this board, I was sort of aiming for it to be a little twin plus one sort of thing. And so I rode it just as this. And I rode it like this for two months before even trying it as a, as a normal thruster and it was so fun. It was like, especially in waves like this big, little runners, it would just fly along but then it would give you a lot of release. That big sort of twin fin side fin is giving you all the drive and acceleration and then that's adding some control but still allowing that tail to be super free. Exactly, and yeah. exactly. And, I, and you know, in, in waves like this big, soft little summer wave, you think you're ripping. Yeah. <laughs> I've got this one as well that um, Luke Dorrington made me that was this little 5.6 had an epic um, surf out D-bar on it. Um, but I went with the MR in this one just to give it that little bit more drive. And, um, 
yeah, it, this one would hold amazingly as well. Just because you got all that drive, but then it's free and fast. Mm. So uh, yeah, that's that's been a, a really good, really good summer setup. This one, this was sort of my design, the DH style. <laughs> I'll show you the actual original one. I was checking that out earlier. So I actually made this one. I could tell. Yeah. Look at it. It's it looks. Cool. It looks good. It is. It's great. So that's the modern keel. The modern keel, yeah. Which is a which essentially is like an all-rounder keel. Yeah. Um, it's it's pretty versatile in terms of that uh, traditional fish keel setup. Yeah, I've just been enjoying this um, this keel setup. I find that with the with the channels through it, yep. it just holds that extra little bit where you don't need the trailer. You, you're not pushing too hard. Yeah. You're just sort of enjoying the flow of it all and um, back to that kind on, of feeling, huh? Getting all the twenties. You should be going out surfing and coming in feeling a, a million times better than what you already were. So um, yeah, if you're not getting that enjoyment out of just your normal board jump, it's something different. Small wave grovler. Yeah. All around all around performance board yeah. and then something if the waves get a little more juice in it. Yeah, exactly. I find if your board's too thick and fat, then it controls you. And so I felt like I was just out in front of the barrel the whole time. I was just like, I've got to change this. And so I went back to the old uh, traditional, just use some length. Cool. Yeah. That extreme's always good, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Even when I'm home, I'm, I'm surfing more than ever now. Um, it was funny, my hair started going real dark there for when I first got off tour because I was fat and lazy. <laughs> but um, now it's now it's going blowing again. So yeah, means I'm surfing more. Yeah, yeah. Hello, mate. Hey, Darren. What a surprise! Hello. What's going on here? What have you brought him? Uh, they're the same as the this little one here that he would be riding. The model. We're making it. It's happening. Yes. Yes. I actually had a really good surf on a recent trip where I just rode a quad the whole time. Yeah, right, okay. Um, Is it on a soft one? No. <laughs> <laughs> it was this one. Oh, yeah. Sweet spot. Wow. And I just rode it straight as a quad. I actually rode this through the, the Omar swell as well as a quad. I just like it in the tube. Yeah. I noticed there was a couple of times where I felt like the board couldn't go any faster, and then you'd hit like okay. a foam ball or it would spit or something, and the board would just go into overdrive, and it was crazy. I was like, I haven't felt, I haven't felt that ever. Wow. Step up quads, they've always been good, but as small wave boards, they're even better, but you've got to get those fins in the right spot, and you've got to ride the right fins, and I think that's where the public's a little bit confused about what fins to ride, and they put three fins in their board first, the board goes good, they don't change. Well, this is cool, we got uh, new sticks. We got new sticks to try out. Maybe we'll take a couple of new, a couple of old, and go and find right. some waves.